Your Honor the Judge, I would like to thank my colleague and my master Dr. Abdel Nur, who has uncovered to you in the public my old bad history in the field of accidents and indemnifications and my other sins. It is a good chance for me to cleanse myself in front of you. I admit that I am guilty. But in fact, all of us are guilty and sinners. And I do not exclude any. I do not exclude any. I do not exclude any your honor. Mr. The Defendant's Representative, I need to remind you that you are not here to play the role of the great actor Ahmed Zaki in the famous movie Anti-Government. You are here to justify the use of the equity method by the defendant to account for his investment in Sami Gamalawi Fared al Atrash Company. I apologize, Your Honor. The lawsuit was assigned to me two hours ago. But because I am Egyptian and know everything about everything anywhere and at any point in time, I can start my defense when you allow me. You are allowed. First of all, an investment in voting stock that enables investor to exercise significant influence over the investee should be accounted for by the equity method, assuming no fair value option election. When significant influence is presumed to exist? Significant influence is presumed to exist when investor holds between 20% and 50% of the investee's voting interests, shares of common stock. It goes without saying your honor that amount of preferred stock held by the investor is irrelevant. Preferred stock usually is non-voting. Could you please explain how the equity method is applied? Yes, your honor. An equity method investment is initially recognized at cost. Under the equity method, the investor recognizes an income statement its share of the investee's earnings and losses in the periods for which they are reported by the investee. Could you please inform the court how this can take place in the investor's accounting records? If the investee reported net income for the period, a journal entry in the investor books of account should be, debit investment in X company and credit revenue, share in X company earnings. If the investee reported net losses for the period, a journal entry in the investor books of account should be, debit loss, share of X company losses, and credit investment in X company. The court needs a narrative explanation, not journal entries. Yes, your honor. 1. An investor recognizes increases in earnings and in the investment account for its share of the investee's net income for the period. 2. An investor recognizes a loss and a decrease in the investment account for its share of the investee's net loss for the period. Please note that the investor's share of the investee's earnings and losses is recognized only for the portion of the year that the investment was held under the equity method. The court also needs to be informed about how dividends distributed by the investee are treated in the records of the investor under the equity method. Dividends from investee are treated as a return of an investment. They have no effect on the investor's income. The investor's share of dividends distributed by the investee increases cash and decreases the investment account. The journal entry is to debit cash or dividends receivable and the credit investment in X company account. The court's last question is what if an investor can no longer be presumed to exercise significant influence over investee? If an investor can no longer be presumed to exercise significant influence, for example due to a decrease in the level of ownership, it ceases or stops to account for the investment using the equity method. Do you need to add any other information? Thank you your honor.